Did you hear that noise? I think I might have broken the chair. <laughs> what the f Yo. <laughs> no, seriously, did the chair. You no one heard that noise. Uh, I heard it. <laughs> what the You're good, bro. <laughs> kind of guy okay there might we may just end up having to you know drive back home with no front bumper and leave in the back seat i don't know let's send it bro <laughs> yo this dyno number one i seen you break the torque limiter on this thing by yeah. the way this is your what the f80 well i mean everyone pretty much knows i'm pretty sure everybody that follows me follows you guys so this is built motor this is pretty much yeah. full guns like thousand wheel you're trying to reach on this thing and you're already i know somewhere in the 800s deep in the 800s yeah, so what happened was we were at like seven, 650 or something on mm -hmm. 93, and then we we will put Ignite Red in it, and we got to E70 because we had some 93 in the tank. Yeah, I, I watched that one, yeah. We got to 850 wheel horsepower, and then Kerry was like, okay, cool, because Kerry George is doing the tuning. So he turned it up, and like we did a run, and as soon as we hit 815 foot-pound torque, torque. The dyno was like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. I was like, dyno overload. Like, let's try it again. See, that's my style of video. It's like, let's try it again, man. It didn't explode the first time. We're yeah, gonna try so to I go. did it again. And it, it, yeah, it just like this big red screen is like flashing. It's like, stop. So, it reminded me of the Fast and Furious, like, laptop tuner. You know, it says oh, yeah, manifold, yeah. blah, blah, blah. We talked to our buddies over at Mishimoto and we're like, hey, can we use your dyno? We're actually going to go there. Okay. And Ricky and the guys are going to help us put on their dyno jet. And, uh, we want to see how it makes. We'll how much it makes. And we, yeah, we, I mean, we're still, yeah, we'll break, hopefully we won't break that one. We have, um, we're only at E70. Ignite Red is the fuel we use. It's yeah. E90. Okay. So we're not even, and we didn't even turn port injection on yet. Basically, what I did is I tried to make it as easy as possible. Because, oh, okay. so the super seat. Oh, that's fine. That's, <laughs> That's a story for another day. Um, but I wanted to make it as easy as I could. So the tune right now is flex fuel. Uh -huh. So like say I go to see you and the station only has 93. Gotcha. I could put 93 and it's it's ready to go. You won't or, have to adjust anything. It'll just adjust itself. Right. Or over here, I have what I call the kill switch. <laughs> oh, wait. And it's literally a kill switch. <laughs> that, when, that, when that is lit up, we haven't tuned for it yet. That's port injection. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is before we race, I just need to actually to pop your hood for a second. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, listen, just, yeah. <laughs> just pop the hood and let me check something. <laughs> and I have it under here so that um, I'm responsible with it and it's not like on the fly, yeah. like flip it and go. Well, because that's what happens. You see, what happens is you'll have it off and then you'll come into contact with the car, CTSV, ZL1, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And then you just start playing with the steering wheel like, no, you're not going to get me on the highway. <laughs> At least now you can, you have to pull over and pop the hood and you know. Yeah, and then you have to switch the map. Yeah. And stuff, but we're not even there yet, honestly, so I don't even know. But she's making some good numbers with just direct injection only. Yeah, and it stopped at 815. So, like. And that was the dyno that stopped it, not like, even, yeah. Yeah, and so this, I don't even is, know. This is honestly all the power you need in the street for this car. Well, well oh, over. Yeah. yeah, so you're good, man. Yeah, this is a little overkill right now. I, I'm not going to lie, I kind of like this. I looked at it in the video. I was like, I kind of like this. Do you want to know why I have that? I'm going to tell you one of my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> so this is exclusive. I like this. It's exclusive. So if you look at the second O in motorsports, mm -hmm. um, before the Keys Auto Show, my lip was falling off. And I went to screw it back in and I used a screw that was too oh. long. Like, and it went right through the top <laughs> of the bumper. I can see so it now. The there's, second a, <laughs> there's a hole. <laughs> but what's so funny is I put it on because I was like, crap, there's a hole. It's funny because we're at the car show, there's like a couple hundred people there and whatever, and they're like, oh, I love the sticker, I love the sticker. Nobody noticed that there's a hole in my bumper. So I was like, yes. So I have a new bumper, but uh, I haven't had time to put it on yet. Hey, listen, man, it looks beautiful. Thanks. I, love yeah, the I like the Ferrari, fit, but I'm not a red guy, I'm a blue guy. Yeah. But this car is different. It's, it's beautiful, man. It's, it's very, very beautiful. I like it a lot too. And you don't see a lot of the red. No. There's all, I think there's only 72 Ferrari red in the country. It is, yo, these, but, um, the F80 just had this aggressive look, man. Oh, yeah. It's aggressive. And these tires and these wheels are insane. What are these, 305s in the back? What is that? Yeah, these are 305s. Sheesh. And I have, these are my Apex wheels for track stuff. These are 315s. Oh, these are, what? <laughs> Finally, we over yeah, back so, over here to the carbon. This is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. This is the dry carbon. All of this is going on the M4. And I'm pretty excited, to be honest with you, because like I said before, 
I I had to be made a believer, you know what I mean? And and watching yeah. your videos, you make me a believer. I'm now a firm believer in the performance of Audis now, you know, because a couple of my friends got them. <laughs> a huge fan in every piece. I was kind of hesitant about this, but after seeing it on your G80, yeah. I'm telling you right now, it's it's beautiful setup. All right, first step. <laughs> oh, that looks good. It's easy. It's Nothing. really easy. I like that. You don't have to take anything off. Yeah, video, I love I this promise. interior, man. I'll take off the stickers. Huh? What you say? I love this interior. Oh, yo, I love How it, too. How sick would that look in the red car? See, that's Oh, it up. would look really nice. Especially because it's more... Th this is red red. It's not like an orangey red. It's like a red right. red. <sighs> the seats, man. I'm like the go along for the ride kind of guy. Okay? <laughs> there might We may just end up having to, you know, drive back home with no front bumper and leave in the back seat. I don't know. <laughs> Let's send it, bro. <laughs> This is 10 minutes later. <laughs> I actually do like the way that the blue looks. See? It looks pretty good. I think blue and gray just go together. It, it really does, man. Yeah. First two months, completely stock. Two days ago, I changed so much on the car already. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to figure out what works best for us to ship out to uh, our DMEs out. Yeah. And uh, we're trying to work around each other. So it's like, hey, listen, man, I ship mine out first, so we at least have one car to drive, and then, you know. I, I stared away from the whole carbon interior. Um, just yeah. one, I just wanted to be a little bit different, like you know. It. It you know, so I chose the open port wood. It was just a few yeah. bucks more. It looks cool. And, uh, you know, you have the silver, the paddles were just stock G20 paddles. Yeah. But that little bit of carbon, it kind of, it's kind of like, you know, carbon on the roof, the backs of the seats. Yeah. And then they look like, oh, wow. It, it really made the steering look a lot yeah. nicer. I'm so glad I chose that over silver, you know? Yeah. Just, it goes together with like the subtle, like, look, the, the little, people call it like a nut holder. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, and it goes, it goes yeah. perfect it with it. You know what I mean? Like, it looks perfect. To be honest with you, for some reason on camera, this blue tape looks really good. I'm just expecting you to leave it at this point. <laughs> One day I'm gonna get a lift and I'm not gonna lay on the floor. <laughs> oh yeah, the lift. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what the problem is, like, with like all my cars and stuff, they're all lower. So you need blocks. Yeah, it's just a process just to get on a lift. This definitely looks like a job that I can do. Yep, my job here for the day is done. Oh yeah, it is coming along good, man. Yeah, hat or something? That, that's what, literally what I do. People look at me crazy. I literally drive like this sometimes. <laughs> like, literally, I look like this. <laughs> and people are like, yo, how do you see? You she looks good. This is how you get really good photos. <laughs> you just like squat them. Oh yeah, she looks good. You want to trade or? Sure, I'll take that one. Cool. Closing it? Cool. Yeah. Dude, mine looks like a monster truck next to you. That's how I felt going to car meets. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> this car is so fast that sometimes people think it's a jet. Yeah, I know it sounds like it. What exhaust do you have? <laughs> Yo, I think I broke the chair, bro. Yo, I think I broke. Did you hear that noise? I think I might have broken the chair. What the? Yo. No, seriously, did the chair? You no one heard that noise. I heard it. <laughs> like, there's three of us Yo. in the car. Oh my god. <laughs> this is off the shelf. Oh no, did, does anyone know that it's 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 unlocked? Or I don't. You can tell. I, oh, okay, okay. I haven't so. like publicly said anything, but. Um, it's custom tuned though. It's, not... it's custom tuned. Yeah, but it's stock, stock turbo, stock everything. Yeah, it gets a little sandy up here. Don't so that was a second gear launch. That was second gear. We still spun a little bit with three of us in the car. I heard some extra turbo sound. It was like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting our triple eight. I need that. These it are, does these work. Are the Pirellis. Like I can't wait till it hooks. Yo. Could you imagine that in first gear? 
Like you'd, you'd seriously need a neck brace. But see, that, yeah. I feel like the seat moved back. I, I think I'm going crazy, but I feel like it moved back. Yeah, this thing goes. <laughs> Yo, this thing goes fast. The other thing quickly. is that was um, the whole thing is DSC completely off. And it just goes. And like with the, with the all wheel drive in these things, everyone's like, oh, all wheel drive is not an M car. You know, and it's like, Okay, get in the car. We'll do launch control. Like, yes. we'll, talk, we'll talk about it. Like, it's and then like people go, we do launch control, and they're like, "Where do you get these?" <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying. We are not slipping on this bike. And you said it spun when we just took off. Oh yeah, it spun in second. All wheel drive with. If we're all 200 pounds, being nice to us all. Dude, that's, <laughs> yeah, because I'm a little north of that. Pounds. Yeah. I am too. I'm 220 now. So. But over in this section. Um, we're a Daler stocking dealer. We have turbo smart pick up brakes. We have MST. This is all carbon, so these are all like trunk lifts, side yeah. spring extensions, all that kind of stuff. So this is all just MST. 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 This is all just carbon. We have carbon for everything from the G82 to the E90, E92. We yeah. even have oddball stuff like F36, and the F36 guys oh, are like, "Oh yeah, hey, you call me an oddball," but like the mainstream is like F30, yeah. E90. And it's the so, Four Series Grand Coupe 36, F36. Yeah. yeah okay, gotcha. Yeah, and we, we also have a couple like the F33, like the convertible. Yeah. And like just kind of some of the stuff that like not many people carry. We have some oddball like six series stuff too. Um, Supra stuff. We have AWE exhaust we try to stock here. Oh, we have a couple uh, S58 intakes and stuff. <laughs> a couple? That's actually, yeah, I, I, we had 140 of them, and that's what we're down to. And you were running MST on the G80 back there? Yeah. It sounds like big turbo. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds crazy. I've never felt a tuned G80 before. Actually, I've never had experience in a tuned G80 or all-wheel drive. And this is both. Stinging. So it's pretty much the same setup. We're gonna run the carbon, carbon, these things, which I have right here in my hand. We're gonna try to figure out how they go on as accurately as possible go around mine's a tad bit different this is a full replacement I know my guy James have one of those I just got the little sticky ones which looks pretty good in my opinion too have that coming on that goes on that we're gonna save that for another video because we're out of time and uh yeah the rear diffuser what's interesting is this does not get removed it's just the diffuser right here so it'd suck if somebody would like hit this. Luckily this pokes out a tad bit more because this is the replaceable one. So much nicer in person. The blue looks so much better in person. The gold wheels, nice M2 front bumper on it. I think all the keys cars got big turbos at this point. Best wrap I ever seen. Color is real nice on it. Dirty. Yeah, but you can't even tell the color in person, like on camera. Cause it, it looks it looks like a whole different blue when you watch the videos. Gold wheels on it, I like it too. E even the gold looks different in the videos. Yeah, uh, CSF fanful. Oh, oh, it has the laser lights. Yeah, fancy. <laughs> yeah, fancy. Drive it gray. Oh, <laughs> you mean business, man? What? The? <laughs> that thing is nice. You call it OEM plus. OEM plus plus. OEM plus mods. <laughs> 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 nice MST always kills it man MST always kills it <laughs> yo this thing looks massive <laughs> don't get like the magnitude unless you see it yeah you can see it online it's like wow it looks really cool when you open the hood of a car but when you when you pop the hood on this mm -hmm. it's like you know we mean business <laughs> <laughs> yeah it reminds me of the kill switch thing on there. It's like you pop the hood and you see something like that, just bro, just close Every it. Don't even worry about it. Different trick, yeah, you know? just don't even worry about they're it, all, man. They're all stock. <laughs> OEM plus. <laughs> Yo says every BMW guy yeah. on planet Earth. It's stock, man. It's stock. <laughs> so why are what? flames coming out the hood? Come on it. <laughs> <laughs> and you have the port injection holes right here, right? Or somewhere in there. Yeah, so it has um, a port injection rail and then it has a um, nitrous pump too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to beat a G80. It pulls this out or that, because this is fast too. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs>
It has uh, 600 wheel horsepower, 700 foot pounds work. N55. Exactly. <laughs> that looks way better, but I've never launched that in second. But that doesn't, <laughs> see the, the, okay, so here's the thing. This has a bigger turbo that doesn't, it like takes a quick nap until 3000 RPM yeah. and it's like, oh, let's go. Where, so there's a lot of lag in this one where this thing is just like, <laughs> yeah, it just takes off. Yeah, well, I would assume I would assume that helps out the M55 a little bit too. That that's how you're able that to little nap. It. Yeah, you have to because um, otherwise you'll blow out the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, completely. See that video? Yeah, the video yeah, of the mod yeah. It's a spendy one. Yeah. So, so uh, with this, uh, you could buy that. <laughs> yeah. You could buy that. You could buy that. You could buy that. Yeah, this car right here. This is like the most expensive car I have, <laughs> <laughs> and I bought it for twenty-two thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> this whole like hodgepods of like different parts like this is like an e90 m3 style hood uh-huh with an m2 Wait, e front oh bumper. yeah yeah the hump i see yeah yeah and then it's got an m2 front bumper and then it have has f80 fenders, fenders. <laughs> people get all upset online they're like oh, that's not an m car i'm like that thing yeah, you know what? I think I might. You got the keys to the Mini Cooper, man. <laughs> so do you like how mine are? Yeah. I mean, you. This car is what persuaded me to actually put them on. All right. Right there. Yeah. Want to lower? Let me see. Uh, probably. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, well, you had it lower was good, like right there. Like right there. Yeah, that's good. The cool thing is too, like. So, honestly speaking, we just taped mine on, and I was like, they're probably going to fly off. Yeah, and they held. And we've done launch control, and they haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, as long as you prep the surface. You're good to go. You are good to go. <laughs> Look at that downforce. Yeah. I mean, enough downforce, that it, the, the things will probably come off without the car going down. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, okay, now this, yeah. this is a little bit going hard. A with little the, more down first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is farewell to the Keys compound for now. Beautiful. So I'm pretty sure you guys can tell by now it's a whole new day. I'm going to give a special shout out to uh, guys at Keys Motorsports. Jerry. Oh, it's Blackgate, right? And last but not least, my boy Ryan, my best friend, my brother, because uh, I've been really, really, really tired these past couple of days. And like Ryan hooked me up. He helped me out with taking off the bumper and all that stuff like that. I could barely move. My back was hurting. Neck was hurting crazy because of those springs. Jerry helped me out with the springs. So we both left crippled. Now Ryan's going to help me finish up the job because we ran out of time over at Keith's Motorsports. But just having, I mean, hey. Too much fun. These have these pins you have to push up and take it out. And the sides, you just pull out with this. We have the rest of the carbon bits shoved in between the center thing. And we have yet another mod for the car. Stay tuned. I think you guys are really going like that one. I like them all, honestly. So, Brian is going to drive the BMW. I'm going to ride the bike and I'm gonna try to get the best rollers that I can for you in slow motion because I don't feel like switching around a whole bunch of cars and stuff. Yeah, I feel like the I feel like Debo in this thing, boy. There you go. Alright, let's get this. Hold up, hold up, let me get let me get suited and booted. I'm ready, man. <laughs> ah, let's go. We out of here, baby. Shoo! Let me zoom in. That works. Nice. Yo, remember back in the day when the chain used to pop on these things? Y'all catch a speed, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> Yo, that blue is fire. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, there's a blue right here. You don't think that's fire? I like it. Yo, if y'all ain't subscribed, subscribe now, bro. If y'all ain't like these videos, like them now, bro. Real is YouTube out here. Who you know does this, bro, for the rollers?
Blanc like Debo. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, we're good on Blanc like Debo. Yo, what you got on my 40, homie? Nah, I didn't take the pla <laughs> plastic off just here. Why, you want to take it off in this video? No. Whew. Take it off the door? See? I know. Yeah, this about to be the thumbnail, look. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, put this back in the back. I don't even want to. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Just uh, slow. Oh, yeah, you got. Holy shit. Yo, the back wheel is in the air, bro. Are you serious? Yo, bro. <laughs> yo, yo. What's that? What's that sound? The back wheel is trying to, it's trying to catch grip, but it's not. I'm not rubbing on anything, right? No, it's not rubbing. It's trying to spin. It's that suspension, man. Yo, yo, yo. What the? <laughs> yo. That's crazy, bro. That was wild. All right, cool. Uh, let me start with the backs. I think it's supposed to be easier. You see that? So if you jacked up the car, you don't only need to jack up one part. Oh yeah, I only jacked up the front when I did the, the um, thing and the whole thing just came up. If you look, it's not even as much like, cause the diff, the diff is a tad bit lower than the exhaust. I'd say about what, a couple inches, but like eight inches, nine inches. It's about like 10. That's crazy. Well, send it. Yo. You always have the proper tools for stuff. I know. I don't know why. I just do. It's always me that's like, okay, I'm going to make this work with a Phillips screwdriver, not even a flathead. <laughs> nasty and bold i'm super excited to show you guys the carbon where is that where is that hold on and like i said guys stay tuned if you stay for the end of this video i think i might unbox this for you guys but it's gonna go on the car in another video this is for this side oh it's so much lighter too I mean, it's carbon fiber, but so this must be my, my car goes. My car's faster than like, weight reduction. Weight saving, yeah. Yeah. All right, now let's pop all the clips, and I'm good to go. Sweet. Nah, I think I think this is the maximum amount of low. I have to put the wheel spaces on so it looks better, like more aggressive. Mm -hmm. But uh, remember, I, I don't plan on really driving this like that. So like when I take it out. It's not the biggest deal. And it does take a bit of pressure. Oh, it makes sense. Yeah. So these aren't reusable at all. It squeezes it. Totally different. These you could just use that tool, but this you can't. Once this compresses, which I'd see why you'd need a gun now to pull this. Crap. We gotta go to Harbor Freight. These are designed to be pulled to compress it to look like this. That's what he meant by plastic rivet gun. I got you, Brian. I got you. We're going to do this DIY right. All right, guys. So that seems to be it for today's video. Didn't exactly get the uh, little side piece on any of the plastic rivet gun, which Brian did tell me. Uh, so I'm going to go on the hunt and look for that. I will have the car fully buttoned up in the next video. Just throw those on, get some dope rollers, some six shots, go hit my guys up and go get a wash so we can get the full, full, full take in of how beautiful that thing looks. I got a little sneak peek for myself, obviously, but it's dirty, got bugs on the front and a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, yeah, man, 
Shout out to the guys over at Keys Motorsports. They're super, super cool. You know how you meet those people and they're really cool online? Well, these guys are really cool online and in person. And I just, that was a beautiful feeling because I'm pretty sure you guys can know know how things can get. Just every single one of you that I've met and we've linked up and we've vibed out because that's a beautiful, beautiful thing to me, being able to meet you guys through cars. And then, you know, after that in person, you guys end up being really cool people. Yeah, I'm going to just close this video right here. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell. I'm a little tired. Eric from Slow Speed. Peace out.